Hi there everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game by Gary Kasparov, the greatest chess player of all times. And this chess game was played in 1987 in Zurich, Switzerland. And Kasparov's opponent, Heinz Wintenson, was the three times Swiss chess champion, international chess master. So this is 1987 and this was from a chess simul and Kasparov was the reigning undisputed world chess champion and this is a must-see attacking chess game by Kasparov so we have d4 and we are going to the Nimzo Indian defense bishop to b4, e3, b6, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, f3 and knight to h5 developing the pieces and then castling queen to e2, c5, d5 and black decided to give up the bishop here to Kasparov but this is winning a pawn but then Kasparov castled from the queen side amazingly active play by Kasparov we have queen to e8 well why not capturing the pawn then bishop takes on c4 okay black is a pawn up but white has the activity and white's bishop pair is incredibly effective we see both bishops aiming the king like two snipers and pushing the pawn doesn't work because of rook takes on d5 bishop takes doesn't work because of rook over and uh, pinning the bishop unpinning bishop takes forking king and to rook disaster everywhere beautiful tactics by Kasparov so he castled from the queen side and we have queen to e8 and lining the rook with the king and planning to push the pawn so we have d takes on c4 bishop takes and Kasparov is using the bishop here very effectively so we have king to h8 and the expected move g4 so he wants to open the rook so what else actually uh, f takes on g4 rook takes incredible tactics by Kasparov we have knight to f6 why not bishop takes on f3 then rook takes was the idea of Kasparov the queen the rook they are all hanging if bishop takes queen then we have rook up check mate and if knight takes on g7 then another stunning move rook to g1 and threatening bishop takes knight checkmate queen to e queen to e7 is the only defense and then queen to d3 and apparently there is no reasonable defense in this position bishop takes knight rook takes knight or even knight to g5 is some of the threats in this position and if something like blocking the queen with the bishop can you see what happens it is white to move then we can capture the bishop and if queen takes queen then we have bishop takes knight check mate amazing tactics by Gary Kasparov so anyway in this position after rook takes on g4 this is why not bishop takes on f3 which was losing knight to f6 attacking the rook and blocking the bishop another stunning move by Gary Kasparov rook over and doubling the rooks so apparently it looks like this rook is not more valuable than this bishop so knight takes on g4 accepting the sacrifice and after rook takes on g4 Kasparov is threatening checkmate bishop takes on g7 so this is actually the only sensible defense because you can see that the bishop is also the light square bishop is also extremely effective you can't block with the rook simply bishop takes rook so rook to f6 defending the checkmate threat bishop takes on g7 but this time bishop takes on f6 look at the bishop pair look at the power of the bishop pair so we have g takes on f6 and then Kasparov played simple chess rook to g8 winning the queen so king takes and then queen check and then attacking both of the pawns so black is defending and then knight to f4 and so we have knight to c6 but Kasparov checks the king finally black is developing the knight but it is too late after this move black resigned the three times Swiss chess champion so the possible continuation moving the king capturing the pawn capturing the pawn and I think this is a little bit too much for Haynes Winterson what a crushing brutal attack by Gary Kasparov and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.